Hey guys, Logan here. Great to see you all. Today I want to go over some of the changes that are coming in the May update that are scheduled to be released Tuesday, May the 30th. I'm going to bring up some of the most relevant stuff that I thought you wanted to know, so let's begin. First up, the bayonet charge is getting a change. I've talked about this before, but here are those changes that are made. You will not be able to strafe while charging towards an enemy anymore, and the player will take normal damage while charging. Before, you could get hit by a number of times before you died. You will also be louder while you're doing the bayonet charge, so be aware of this. Your enemies will hear you much easier now. Your footsteps are going to be louder. Bayonet charge is a fun thing to do. My tip if you're going to do it is if you're running from an enemy, get behind the corner, turn around and do a bayonet charge. Your enemy will get surprised when you're coming at him again and you will get a kill. Second thing is the netcode. The netcode are getting a little change again. This is something players always complain about and are always going to get tweaked until the players are happy. The change are going to decrease the amount of times you feel like getting killed after you get behind cover for example. Now over to some map and game mode changes. We have a change of ticket count for domination from 100 to 200 tickets. This is not my favorite game mode, but it sounds good to me. My experience of domination is that it's over too fast. So 100 tickets to 200 tickets. My favorite game mode, Conquest, are getting a little change to the scoring. You will now receive less score while capturing a flag but you will now be awarded a conquest control bonus if your team controls more than three flags than the other team. So keep PTFO, keep capturing those flags. And it looks like operation are getting a new join any operation button in the main operation menu. This will get you into any operation game, 40 or 64 players. And the end game screen with all the scoring at the end of operation will count down towards the next game. You will not have to quit after every operation game anymore. Now over to the vehicles. The self-repairing has been changed for the better, I think. Every self-repair cycle has been reduced from 320 to 200. But the time it takes to do a self-repair cycle has been reduced from 8 seconds to 5 seconds. This means that you can heal up your vehicle quicker in tight situations. This applies to the A7V heavy tank, FT-17 light tank, Saint Chamond assault tank and the pierced arrow artillery truck. The cooldown of the speed boost ability has been reduced from 30 to 15 seconds for the airship buster attack plane and the dogfighter plane. Speaking of the dogfighter, they have added a new secondary weapon, incendiary ammo, and this does a lot of damage to other planes. And the active ability have been changed to speed boost. And now I actually feel like playing as a fighter pilot again. It sounds like Fun to use this in sanitary ammo. The bomber killer variant of the fighter have seen some chains too. The active ability have been changed to emergency repair. So just a small change for that one. Okay, now we have some big changes happening to the field gun and the stationary AA. They have both been made indestructible, but they can still be disabled. The health has been doubled, but when it gets down to 50%, the weapon becomes disabled and the repair tool is the only thing that can bring them back. They have to be at 100% again to be functional. And some changes to the max range of the AA has been done. Okay, my last topic is gameplay. You are now able to change the camera shake in advanced gameplay options. This will change how much your camera shakes near explosion and more. And the low ammo sign will now automatically show over your friendly players. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Feel free to request videos while you're down there. I'd be more than happy to make videos that you want. Are you new to the channel? Make sure to click the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up to support the channel. It makes me very happy. Hope to see you in my next video. This is Logan, signing out.